I want to talk about robots, robots with AI mixed together. So that was one of the predictions that I made here just a couple of weeks ago, dealing with what's going to happen in 2024. And as if on cue, Tesla just released a video talking about how their new robot, their actual humanoid robot is advancing. Check out this clip. some very interesting things to notice about the robot. To begin with, the robot is going to have the Tesla AI built into it. So that means that it will be able to utilize its cameras that are built into its, its eyes, if you will, and it's going to be able to observe the environment and then make calculations and make decisions on what to do based off of the overall prompt or command that was given. So it can be programmed and used in many different ways. The idea here is that by having an advanced generative AI built into the system, it will be able to do everything that a generative AI like ChatGPT can do, but it can also interact with the world. It can go around situations. It can do real beneficial things. Uh, such as uh, domestic work or working in a factory or all sorts of different things. Now, the reason I bring this up is because I believe that this is really going to start to occur more and more in 2024, the utilizations of robots with AI in education. There's plenty of other competing robots out there. You have several different companies. You have some companies that have been out for a while, but haven't been fully integrated with the newest advancements in robotics as well as the newest advancements with generative AI. Once these two things come together, there's going to be limitless possibilities with what can be done. Again, I'm not pushing for the replacement of people in academia with robots. Uh, I don't think that's the answer. I don't think that's the, the, the positive way to use this. I'm thinking about ways that we can integrate robots that have this capability with AI, how we can use that to really enhance the teaching and learning that goes on in the classroom. Imagine having this AI robot that you could break up your, your classroom into maybe a couple of different sections so that there's different things going on in the class during classroom time. So this is kind of oftentimes referred to as the, the workshop uh, workshop class as, as far as a pedagogical technique. So you could have the robot working with some of your students in one corner. You could have students doing some um, maybe internet research or just AI research in general. And then they, some other group could be working with the actual instructor and then they could rotate. Now the AI robot could be doing all sorts of things as, as far as physically interacting with them. It could be recording a presentation that they're doing be answering questions, it could be serving as a discussion group leader, all these possibilities that will start to become more and more of a reality as we go forward. The biggest thing is that I want us all to really think about this right now before it actually happens. Because when it actually happens, that's when we're always scrambling for what do we do? Uh, is this uh, backed by research? Well, there's already a fair amount of research that's been done that talks about how using robots in education can be uh, very positive as far as uh, motivational aspects, but just instructional capabilities and how it's been used in the past to really enhance the overall teaching and learning. So I really want us to try and be as proactive as possible and to really start to think, how could I use a robot within my teaching and learning? How could I use a robot within my classroom specifically for my field? What would that look like if I had a robot that was smart enough to take my specific commands and to interact with the classroom, what could I use it for? How could I really maximize the capabilities within that class so that I can create the best educational experience for my students? So again, I really wanted to push this because this was very exciting, the new developments with 
the Tesla robot, how fluid it's starting to look, the capabilities, and it's only going to get better and better. So that's something to really look out for. And remember, learning is for life. Mm -hmm.